This program is brought to you by Mental Atom Products Deep Heat and Deep Freeze and Willie McLernan at Farmer Otter Care, official sponsors of East Kilbride FC TV. Hi everyone, welcome along. It's East Kilbride against Spartans. Of course, the title is one for Kelby. Spartans always such a dangerous side and have had a good season. Suspect they will be looking for the title next campaign. Let's get straight to the teams for East Kilbride. Well, despite the title being won and the final booked in the competition last week, it is the same sort of lineup you expect. One or two changes in there, though, including Don McLaren coming in. Michael Anderson, great for him to be involved. It is Paul Wood and Jar Victoria that continue in the top two role for Kelby and plenty of strength and depth in the bench, including Barry Russell, who is on there. It is David Proctor, the captain today. For Spartans, well, I've seen them a few weeks back in the East of Scotland Cup. Edinburgh City defeated them. But one former Edinburgh City player, Ross Allam, knows how to score at this level. Chris Townsley is a former Bear Rangers player, big strength at the back. Jack Beasley is a quick player that can roam forward, and Jackie can score at this level too. He is amongst the subs. Off we go then with the sides coming out and great to see the Spartan side ahead of the game and out there with uh, rounds of applause, guard of honour and it's a fantastic crowd in here in the sunshine today, really is set up for a cracking game of football, just look at that crowd flags out and everything just about the perfect occasion trophy will be delivered to East Bride later on but more on that later we'll concentrate on the 90 minutes first of all it is Spartans to get us going what should be a tasty game despite the league title being won Spartans still in a bit of a battle for second Proctor forward for Joe Victoria. Nice feet there, McLeish. I think it took a neck. Get away from goal. McLeish again involved with play. Adam Strachan not getting rested. He just loves playing. Back with the 1 2. Just always rising. Play. It's just clear at the park. Dishing Tim is trying to break away. Here's Proctor. Come on, he got forward a couple of weeks ago against Galvary Novers in Nosebleed Territory. He leaves that for Victoria. Cut back. Is it going to fall for anyone? In the end, it was Paul Woods but into the keeper's hands. Throw finds Victoria. Greenhill was around trying to keep the ball away but back with Kilby. Hughes was darting around and that's the follow up effort off the woodwork. And they just managed to hack it away. That was a quick flash strike. Thought they were going to get away Spartans but they do eventually. Forward from Tolmey. That looked a bit physical. Greenhill back to his feet, but East Kilbride have it, and Paul Woods passes out wide to Zhao Victoria, and it's clear away. Roven run from Zhao Victoria. Good stuff, though, from Tolmey. Let's go. 
Hallwood's involved again. Flying across, tracking around. Victoria is there too. McLeish in the thick of it also. McLeish and Victoria, I think, with the two in the end in the way of each other, actually. Greenhill, that was always struggling a little bit and he's lost the ball. UK have picked up here with Strachan. Right to challenge of Tolmy. Here's Paul Woods. I know he's never quite got that as he wanted. Frustrating so far. UK have had plenty of the ball. The way side actually have been a little disappointing here. Not really shown too much. Maybe it's their chance now. Out wide right to Beasley. He is a, a talented player. Look at the skill and show. No free kick despite the challenge in. And it's back with Kelby. It is fast paced this. Now here's Woods. His turn to drink and dance his way through. Still going here. Oh, this is just magnificent! It is one of the goals of the season. So skills. Magnificent. Absolutely top drawer in the 31st minute. Skills, twist, turn, twist, turn. Dishing tent, looking around, and bang! Absolutely sensational from Paul Woods. I still can't get over that strike for the first goal. That was uh, something special. Just really opened that safe door. Here's Strachan. Fortuitously comes back for him. Look at the space he just opened up into. Couldn't find a kill behind. Stevenson. Here's Woods. They've worked out well. Oh, and there's the salmon leap in the header, and it's Hughes, and it's two. Four minutes from the break, Declan Hughes. And that first goal just really unlocked things for the home side. Cracking header, it's completely unmarked. Townsley absolutely raging at his defence. There was a huge gap between him and Tommy. And that's two. Oh, it goes Ja Victoria. Can they get a third here before half time? Strachan and McLeish, oh, it's parried. Wood can't quite get on the end of it. If he's a little glance at that watch, almost at the end of the first half. In fact, we are at the end of the first half. Spartan's been a bit disappointing in his first half. Kelby really striding on, doesn't matter about the league. Trophy being won, they know they're getting the trophy in 45 minutes, but goals from Woods and from Hughes, a couple of beauties, it's 2-0, 50-50 time. Alright, good afternoon, welcome East Coast Ride, this is a half-time draw with Craig Howie here, one of our first team players, he's going to make the draw, if you pick Craig. Winner is Alistair Shields. Alistair Shields. Here we are, Alistair. Congratulations, you've won £103. Well, and Chaps, I think Ollie, the mascot behind, was a bit disappointed that he never won the 50 50 draw. And there are the cheerleaders, the Phoenix Flames, half time entertainment. And actually, it's a good luck to them because they've got an up and coming tournament in America. Second half, then Spartans looking for a way back into the game. As I said, they're a little disappointing. Here's Stevenson trying to get in the play. Craig Stevenson, he's looking for it back. Block comes in. Alan couldn't get a strike away, and that's going to blow its way over in into the kids' play park. Oh. 
Nice cushion touch and Spartans just showing a little bit more life in the second half. Again, that's not going to come to anything. Just sh shoots, strikes from outside the box rather. Ball from Greenhill, cut out, and now Woods having a break on. There's a lovely flick in Anderson across and Straka in that ever presence. And the keeper just manages to help that on its way. Chances are still coming. Cleish has been lively. Tolmy for Brown helps on its way. And again, a speculative try. Keeper of McGinley just parries it away. His nice feet can't be worked into something. I think it's handball, the shouts. That's why the referee's been there with the uh, whistle. One or two frustrated figures in there. Alan Brown and, and always in the thick of the tag. In fact, there's a red card being shown. And it must be for the language. Michael Heard. Clearly too frustrated with the day's work. And the referee has not taken the, the foul language, abusive language, which appears to be. And he has been sent off here. And the day may well be up for Spartans. Oh, this one goes now for the sub Grotland, but that doesn't come to anything. Dribbles into McGinley's hands. It's a bit hospital that pass, and McLean off the bench, being a bit of a menace. Yeah, it's all flashy, but for Alan Brown, it's just a waste because Strachan picks that back up. Too easy. McLean having a bit punished here. Neil was in the thing of it too. Now the ball back in. McLean around. And not quite on target from Scott Stevenson. A little right smile. Kelby corner. Flung in by Hughes. Game over, that'll do, and on trophy day, a further three points, Spartans maybe not at their best, but we know how good they can be, Iki had to get the job done, and two absolutely sensational goals from Woods and from Hughes, a ten minute period towards the end of the first half, East Coast right two, Spartans nil. When we admitted East Coast right to the league four years ago, people said, who? We ain't seen that now, are we? Congratulations on becoming the Ferrari Pack Holland League champion. All of the wishes for the first couple of playoff matches. In addition to acknowledging the team on behalf of the Lowland League, I'm delighted to acknowledge the sponsorship we've had for the last two seasons from Ferrari Packaging. And consequently, it gives me enormous pleasure um, to ask Mr Tony Ferrari to make the presentation. Great words there from Andrew Waddle, the Lone League chairman, talking about the, the EK rise after joining the league, being admitted to the league, and now they are league winners. And there is Tony Ferrari from Ferrari Packaging, he's uh, helping with the duties. The medals, of course, been title sponsored of the Lone League over the last couple of years. And a lot of Lads getting some time today. There has been uh, a fair nucleus of the squad used. Regular starters anyway, but there was a sprinkle of other players getting a chance. Creek Howie got his big part in the 50-50 draw at half time. <laughs> Clay McLeish in the thick of it. McNeil had a bit cameo at the end. Jao Victoria, how big of his goals have been in recent weeks, including in that game at Netherdale that sealed the title in his second spell. We'd love another crack at League Two football after a stint away. How great it is for Michael Anderson to be involved in playing his part today. Here come the coaching team. 
Carlo Girasoli and Martin Lachlan. Well, he's had a busy 12, 15 months, hasn't he? And certainly a lot has run, if you think of some of the previous players that have been involved in the last four years. Bill Ogilvy done his bit. Now Martin Lachlan has really taken things on. And Barry Russell. The man that came down to East Colbride. And now he's lifting the trophy. And a big moment here in the history of the club for the town. Thank goodness Russell isn't a goalkeeper because the amount of times he seems to lose the lids on these trophies. But maybe it's just a great habit when you're lifting so many trophies. But this is the important one. This is the pathway to League 2 and SPFL football. And it's great that the crowd have stuck by. The crowd just seems to get bigger and bigger over the last couple of seasons or so, especially since I've uh, been watching the games regularly. And uh, certainly over the last 12 to 18 months. I think really the turning point was that Celtic tie, wasn't it? The Scottish Cup. And fans have stuck on and hung on, and there is now this chance for <laughs> SPFL football, the Highland League playoffs to come. There's also this Cup final, too. Against Cumberland Colts, so plenty to play for. Great day, a big day, a winning day on the pitch and for the season. It's East Colbride. <laughs>